Welcome to Seven with Seven, a new short podcast series from Seven Brand. The first guest is Harry Abbott, the bodyboarder from Newquay and Cornwall. He's just got back to his digs in Pride de Marseille near Sintra after competing his registration to compete in the Sintra Pro, which kicks off tomorrow. So, Harry, welcome. How's it going? How you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, not bad, boy. Not bad. Nice and warm there. Yeah, very, mate. Yeah, very. Been been lovely, lovely couple of days. Um, lucky enough to have a little swimming pool as well. So yeah, been in there with my little lad, um, swimming the last few days. Um, had a little wave as well. First day we were here. So no, it's all good, mate. All good. Happy days. So you finally made it, and uh, you're there. Is that the yeah, doing you all right. Yeah, nice and simple, really. Nuki to Bristol, you you know, a couple of hours, and then a few hours flight. Um, bit of a wait for the taxi, but yeah, no, it was good. Got here probably about six six p.m. maybe um, Thursday night. So yeah, it was good. Straight out for some dinner. Um, yeah, had one little beer, and yeah, no, it was nice to just uh, settle down and take it all in. Really, it's mad. It's not very far, is it? Like you say, about two hour flight, but yeah. what a difference it makes. No, that's it, mate. Yeah, it's, it's and it's it's just such a lovely place, really, and to get away for a bit after a long, you know, long year working and stuff. Me and the missus, and yeah, so no, it's been good. So you travelled over with uh, your wife, your son, and your mother in support. How are they doing? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, my uh, my oldest brother's here as well. Uh, he's brought his surfboard, so he'll maybe get a few waves as well. Um, but yeah, no, it was there. You know, they're really enjoying themselves. My little lads loving the swimming pool and stuff. And yeah, it's yeah, it's it's just yeah, it's just such a lovely place. Can't can't recommend it to people enough, really. I love the place. It's a special place in my heart. That area has. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely up there with some of our, our favorite places to be. You know, as someone that's been around the world and travelled a little bit, you know, to have something like this so close to us, it's just yeah, it's a wonder I've not been here more. Really, to be fair. So, your registration's in. I was feeling that it's all becoming real now. How are you feeling yes. about the competition? Uh, yeah, good. I'm, I'm excited. Obviously, there's nerves, but it's, you know, I've not competed for maybe 10, over 10 years now. So, it'll be, you know, it'll be, it'll be good to get back into it. Um, it'll be good to see when the swell comes in, fills in a bit, and the waves get, pick up a little bit. There was a bit of looking it was looking like it was going to get big but I don't I don't know if it'll get that big now so you know mm. it'll just be you know yeah I'm just excited to get in there really and try and do my best and really just, just I just want to be happy with the you know the waves that I get maybe you know that's it really do the best I can and see how it goes really and have fun along the way that's the well that's it. that I think at first when I first took out set out about doing it it was very quite serious um, and I obviously really, I do want to do well at the end of the day, but I think as it's got closer, I think now it is more about relaxing, having fun. And I think the more I can relax and the more fun I have, I think then the better my surfing will be anyway. So it will complement itself really. Yeah, definitely. So you're going up against some of the best in the world. Um, and there's a lot of training yeah. gone into it and a lot of preparation. Yeah. Let's talk through some of it, the, the training. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, definitely. So, well, it all started probably two years ago when I went to the Mentawis. So I started, got it back in the gym, started spin classes and things like that. And that really got my stamina levels back up. Um, and then, yeah, probably just before COVID, maybe, I started training with Brendan Moore in Newquay. Obviously, he's a uh, bodyboarder. I used to work for Rob Barber. Um, started with him kind of during before just for covid and then during but it was very sporadic so it wasn't not, not until the last probably the last 10 months really it's been quite consistent and i've been doing two or three sessions a week with him um focus on obviously he's um probably say it's a bit crossfit based um so it's working on the whole all body really strength training but then a lot of focus on conditioning as well at the end of the sessions which is really good so um that again that's trying to push them stamina levels up a lot more which is r r helpful for the bodyboarding and getting in the water and stuff really yeah sweet well brendan he's uh he definitely knows what he's talking about and uh, he's a good yeah. bodyboarder himself so yeah i'm sure he's uh pointed you in the right direction 
Yeah, definitely. And obviously it's helped put me in contact with some other people, uh, physio that I've been using, um, called Jay Grady over in Chase Water. And he's, then he's helped him when, between him and Brendan more on stretching and things like that. Um, I had another guy I've trained with a bit over the years, um, called Paul Finney and Nuki and he's a uh, yoga base so obviously i've done a bit of the yoga as well trying to just work on a bit of more flexibility and things like that so obviously as you're getting older those things don't come quite as naturally um so it's a, you've got to work on those things a bit more really well you won't be messing about do you? <laughs> no 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 <laughs> i try my best it's hard though it's hard when you work in and kids and family and stuff but yeah, yeah. just got to do what you can really and that's it and then obviously the main thing though for me is just getting in the water and getting back in the water and enjoying being in the water and, you know, going up to the wave for sessions as well. That's been amazing over the last couple of years getting up there. So, yeah, I think, and I think it's obviously meeting other people like yourselves now over the last few years and everyone coming back together, the bodyboarding community. I think, um, yeah, it's, I think it's sparked a little something and, you know, I think a lot of people are really getting back into it. So it's good. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely brought people together. Um, yeah. So back to Prior Grand, it's a it's a great theatre. You know, it was a good setup there. That dead end road, and yeah, yeah. You know, um, have you managed to get any waves there yet? Uh, yeah, surf there. The so we arrived on Thursday, so surf there Friday afternoon. Um, checked it in the morning, but at the moment the banks aren't looking that great. Um, so there's not really any. When well, obviously it's the swell's been small, so there's been nothing at high tide really. So, yeah, I've had to wait till the tide dropped out and then had a small, it was waist high, but you can see, you can definitely see potential. Um, and it was just nice to get in the water. It's, the water's nice and warm. And yeah, I saw a couple of the guys that would be competing um, down there. Um, so, yeah, it was, you know, good to just touch base with it and check it all out. And yeah, um, back down there tomorrow for, for it all to begin. Nice. Well, uh like last year it was quite small there uh, for the competition yeah. and i know there's a lot of negativity about the place as uh, as a tour event but personally i think it's really good because it forces people to surf more each wave on their merit because each wave's different and there's a lot more rail to rail surfing being done there rather than just one big ramp and one big maneuver what, what do you think about yeah that? yeah definitely i think with the condition, obviously, look watching it, and obviously, like I say, I've not seen it when it's got a bit bigger, and I don't know how big it will get, but if yeah, it's it's a, it's a you know, it's one of them typical kind of beach breaks. It's very unpredictable, um, so you've really got to you know kind of read the wave each wave as it is. It's not one of them where you you know the big guys essentially might not be taking off and boosting big backflips, reverse airs, and things like that. So it is like you say, a bit more rail to rail, and you know it. It, 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 I think it gives other people a chance, um, you know, who maybe haven't got those big moves in their in their locker. But yeah, it's, I, th I, th I think it's a really good event, and it's one of the longest running. So, you know, it's yeah, it's great to be here. Really great to be a part of it. I think it, it makes it more relatable, doesn't it? it like yeah, bodyboarding is like the most inclusive or accessible way of wave riding, um, and that's what we do. We encourage people to bodyboard rather than surf because it, it's yeah, better yeah. and easier. But yeah, it is more, like you say, is more for your average bodyboarder as well. Like it's not just go yeah. big or go home. Yeah, totally. Like, you know, for myself, I'm not, a, I wouldn't class myself as a big wave surfer and things like pipeline front on things like that. I wouldn't necessarily, that's not my thing. Um, so for it to come here and be able to, give it a go is you know it's good and i yeah it's, i'm yeah, really excited for it really so sweet so once the event's over you're going to hang back for a bit with your family and have a bit more of an holiday have you got any yeah. plans um not really obviously we um that came here what five years ago now stayed up the coast a bit a bit closer to panish um and yeah so we've I'll probably explore this this end a bit more and yeah, get up to the castle maybe and into Lisbon and a bit of shopping maybe. And yeah, like you say, once the comp's over, it'll be a bit more relaxing and yeah, maybe a little glass of wine, a few, you know, a few nice dinners and things like that. And yeah, just enjoy it really. It's the 
it's one of them like say it's it's our family holiday as well so you know just be good good to chill out really it's not many places better than uh, portugal lisbon area for chilling out and no mate really nice the food food's amazing as well yeah especially the seafood and all that it's mind blowing yeah That's um it. so the cbs the Cornish Bodyboard Series event is uh, scheduled for next week when you're uh, when you're still away. Um, so you'll be missing that. Uh, have you got a favourite? Do you, do you know who might who do you think might win? Like, it's a tough one. I'm, I haven't obviously. Yeah, I had a message about going down and possibly trying out a bit of judging um, for it, which I was keen for. But obviously, yeah, I'm not not there, which is a shame. Um, and I think it's good that we've got these events. Um, in terms of favourites, I. I think it's one of them. It's Portreef. The locals are normally kind of up there. Um, you'll normally see them in and around. The, it's hard to look, you know, depending on conditions. I think if you if your big boys are in it, maybe Crisky, always good. Eldred as well, surfs well there. Um, younger boys like Catton and that, always got a chance. So there's, I think it's, I think the good thing about the Cornish Bodyboard Series, it's, I think again it's an open event i think and anyone's got a chance really on their day um and yeah i'm hope, hopefully maybe depending where i come back here next year obviously it'd be nice to see a few more competitions over the year for us in cornwall so maybe i could give them a go as well at some point sweet so we mentioned the wave earlier on um and it's not long until we have the bodyboard take over there um you come in along with your brother yeah. max uh, you've already um, expressed your, your liking of the, of the place. Like, um, you looking forward to the takeover? Yeah, it's always good to go up there. And I think it's, you know, it's since it's been open, obviously, it's really good that we've obviously got this little community where we, you know, it's, it's very rare that you go there and there's not a bodyboarder there kind of thing um which is really nice to see um and then to have these takeover days where it's pr you know pretty much all bodyboarders is even better and it's a good good day out it's a really nice venue up there and the waves i think the waves are really good and, and it's they're good for again you can depending on what setting you're on but you know there's there's a wave there for everyone so you know wherever you want to practice a bit more sharpen up certain maneuvers or things like that or just get a good barrel at the end of the day it's yeah it's good fun so i really enjoy it up there yeah it's going to be a, a good one and i've been given a list of confirmed participants and there's about 40 people on that list already like so 40 yeah, body borders really good being yeah it'd be a great day out i think and you know good to see everyone there so yeah it's going to be sweet so we've totally blown the seven minute mark on this podcast <laughs> Um, maybe it was a bit ambitious. Maybe yeah. I'll do it in seven minutes one day. I don't know. But it's the first time, so it's know, always a challenge. Onward, yeah, learning curve and all. So um, it's a good point to end on. Um, do you have any shout outs you'd like to make? Um, obviously, a big you know shout out to yourself, mate, for um, hooking us up for this trip and helping me out with it. Um, Obviously, the you know people I mentioned in the interview with Sponger Magazine, my wife, um, mum, ev everyone that support me over the years, Rob Barber, Brendan, and everyone, you know, all the support that came in on Facebook as well about the article and things like that, and on all social media, it was yeah, it was really good and really positive, and yeah, it gave me a nice boost. So that's yeah, you know that's it really. Sweet. But yeah, just well, to... sorry, but no, no, but yeah everyone really it's you know it's just been amazing to have all the support so thank you sweet as well you certainly got the whole uk boog scene behind you they're all uh shouting for you and they, they're going to be watching the live stream i'm sure uh, yeah that's it just just one while you're there to keep your eye on one of our the seven riders is there uh in the juniors uh lewis yeah. ferry okay um, yeah a young little french lad and he's about 11 maybe 12 now I think he's 11 but yeah keep an eye out for him and uh, yeah, if you see him just give him a little pat on the back and uh, yeah, cheer him on yeah. 
yeah, I'll be down there. What I'll get down there as much as I as I can and watch as much of it as possible. Really, it's you know, it's just great. It'd be good to see. It. Like I say, even it's my first time competing in a comp like this, and obviously a first time actually even watching one. So just to see see it all will be a great a great spectacle, really. Sweet. Well, thanks for your time, boy. Thanks for joining yeah, us for the podcast. And I'll speak to you soon, all right? Yeah, awesome. Nice one, bro.